Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can send email with the help of HTML form in Laravel. So in last part we learned that how we can send a simple email with the static data. But now the data will be come from the HTML form. So what kind of data I am talking about? Data means email address, subject and message. Everything will be filled by the user. So for that first of all we have to create a view file and then we will make a route for this and inside this view file we have to make HTML form. Then we will get this uh, HTML form data to the controller. We'll send mail, test it, and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project, and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right, so first let's create a view file and route for this. So for that, I will just stop this PHP artisan server and run command PHP artisan make view and view name. So view name can be sent email you can put any name to this this is not mandatory like you have to put only same name and now if you will just go to the uh, resources view folder then you can see that we have the uh, this new file right so for a moment i'm just putting their h1 tag and adding their add uh, email details or something right then uh, let's create a route for this and see this is working fine or not. Let's go to the web.php. Now this in last part, this was the actually a get URL. So now it will be the post because we will send the data from the HTML form. And now just use their route colon colon view and the path will be sent email and uh, our view name is also send email. So maybe you can ask one question which I already told you in the many of the previous part like can two request method have the same URL? Yes, two request can have or two routes can have the same URL if they have the different request method. So their request method is post and view. So they are different. So we can use the same uh, route for them. All right. Okay. So now let's start PHP artisan server again and uh, click on the send email and here you can see that right we have this h1 tag so now let's create a complete form uh, that form will be the post type and uh, i'm just hiding this part side part so that we can have more area and you can see the complete code there and inside this yeah so in action we have to put this post method uh, route name like this after that let's create an input field and uh, name will be two only there right and why i'm putting the name two because see in the uh, controller we need these three fields let me show you uh, which is two message and subject so i'll put the same name whatever we have in the uh, variable name in the controller so that's why i just put there two and then placeholder can be let's say enter email address we can close it now let's add there to br tag so that we can maintain some space between them and let's make some copy of this now you can see that we have uh, one field there so let me make some copy for this yeah so this is for uh, subject and last one for message so we can say that enter email subject and enter email message and now you can see that we have all these three fields but this message should be a little bit uh, larger so i'm just using their text area yeah so but uh, it should be closed properly so we just need to use closing tag there and let's close it And now you can see that this is perfectly working fine. We can make it in large or small also, whatever we want. This is a little bit flexible. And at last, let's add the button also there. Uh, we can say that send email text there, send email. Yeah, perfect. 
and whenever we are sending submitting a form we need a csrf token also so everything is fine now but now we have to attach these field name with the these variable name so whenever we are accepting any request from the url from the form then we time we have to use this request class and uh, the variable with you can put any name to this variable that's completely fine and now let's change this static name with the request and the r should be smaller it should be the same and then two and how we are getting this two from this so we have to use two subject and message there so two we already use for the two variable and let's use the message with the yeah with the message and last one is uh, subject so now uh, everything should be dynamic so here we will check our email so i just some few minutes ago i was testing and i sent the two two emails so that's that was working fine so now let's try to send another email so email address i'll use the same same email address only and uh, then subject can be let's say message from anil siddhu and i'm just putting there code step by step channel and just i click on the send email it will take just some few moments and uh, message send now you can see that we got the another mail there right so let's try to send one more message and let me change this send email to email sent yeah and let me just refresh it email id will be the same and there i can see that second message and there i'm putting there like subscribe and comment on code step by step channel clicking on the send email <laughs> yeah email sent and there you can see that second message we got perfectly so this is how we can send the data with the help of html form if you still have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment section this is uh, uh my paytm donation number thank you guys thank you so much